Hey guys. guys, welcome back to our video and today we're here again with the restaurant videos where you know we're looking for a real Italian restaurant in England. Yeah. Can we find it? Who knows? Did we find it? If you want to see our other videos that we've posted, check this out at your head. Go in the description below, also we'll put them in the little cards that you can see, that you can look at and go watch after you've seen this video. From the other restaurants that we've seen, they haven't really been Italian. They've been like no. the fake Italian, mm -hmm. like the restaurants that claim to be Italian, but they're actually not. It's just they're kind of changing their needs for yeah. like the... The culture, I guess. I mean, you know, I always understand it's kind of alright for me to see in an Italian restaurant in England English things or Italian ish uh, things, you know, like Italian dish that yeah. are changed into English. Okay, that type of thing. it's been like adapted. Yeah, I do understand that, but if you're making like a, a real Italian dish which is not changed, yeah. even like a carbonara or something like that, you should make it like the Italian way, not the English way. But then again, if you're having like a pizza, I understand than if you have a chicken on pizza because you're in England and people like that so it's all right yeah. but you know we're trying to basically we're trying to find an actual Italian restaurant so I have some customers at the bank where I work and they came in they are Italian and they said they own a restaurant and that is their business so I was like I will have to go there one day so we decided to go to this Italian restaurant to see if it was really Italian so you guys are gonna come with us and see what you think about so we are gonna do the voiceover for this video because you know you're in a restaurant setting it does get quite noisy we don't have like the microphone thing so you can't hear us very well so if you want us to talk into a video while we are recording into a restaurant just share this video as much as you can because that will definitely help us to get more views and get more people get more money and then we can buy those microphones <laughs> and you can hear from us while we're inside of a restaurant with a perfect microphone so share it like it i personally felt like going back home um, it was all beautiful with a beautiful sunset. The weather was amazing, and we enjoyed it. Walking there, then seeing this O Sole Mio from far, I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> which is the nice. name of the restaurant, by the way. Yeah, that's the name. <laughs> so, yeah, it's on like a port and like a dockyard kind of area where all the boats go, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was like sunset, the sun was going down, yeah. the Italian flag was waving. Yeah, it's so good, so good. <laughs> Once you go inside, you just got this. It was all decorate, decorated like if it was in Italy. Like, I literally felt I was back in Italy in one of the Italian restaurants. That's how I felt. And then to English people, it it kind of looks like it's a bit run down, like not a lot of work's gone into it, um, like very old style, and it hasn't been modernised. But that is obviously how the Italians do it. But if you've never been to Italy, then you wouldn't know that. The menu, there's lots to choose from on the menu. The starters that we chose were... I asked for a bruschetta because obviously I needed to try a bruschetta. I haven't tried a bruschetta in ages. And yet. mozzarella and prosciutto. It was so tasty <laughs> and, and differently. Like, you, you've seen how we went in Mozzarella Joe, and they mm. had the mozzarella, but they had that weird pesto, it wasn't even yeah. pesto, it was so weird. Yeah. I realised what they were trying to copy at that point, because then I saw when we were there, that they had oregano oh, over it. They? That's okay. what they were trying to do, and I was like, do why did you put pesto? It's okay. oregano, no pesto, oregano. We flip an egg, and then oil, and salt, and it was perfect, it tasted so good. For me, the bruschetta was really nice, very oily, too much oil, but it was still good. I loved it, loved it, absolutely. For mains, of course, we had to go tradition, traditional and get pizza. Of course, we could have got pasta, yeah. but we 100% had to try their pizza to see like how, how authentic it. it was. Yeah. What did you get, margarita? Margarita, we both got margarita. I got margarita and it was amazing. Yeah, you, you, if you want to try the, someone's pizza, you need to try the margarita to see how they make the normal one and simple plain. It's all about the sauce, like what is the yeah. tomato sauce Oh my goodness, like? yeah, the tomato sauce, that was it definitely was not English. No. I love the way they made the dough uh, of the pizza and, it, and as you can see in the video as well, it was slopping down. It's not like, it, if you know, if you've ever been in England and eaten a pizza, if you lift it up, it stays like that. It's a, 
It's a piece of chalkboard or something. Yeah. I don't know. It's Especially the oven steep. ones, anyway. Yeah, they're super steep. But this one was like, oof, I was like, oh yes, <laughs> that's how I want it. That's a pizza. Although the thing is, um, even the owner told me that the mozzarella is definitely not Italian because they couldn't get the Italian one. But the the way they made the pizza, it, it was the Italian way, and because of that, it made a whole different. We were thinking about getting dessert, but yeah. we obviously Tiramisu's got coffee in it. We didn't have coffee, and we were um, stuffed anyway. Yeah, we were stuffed in. <laughs> had cheesecakes, and I wasn't really fast on getting a cheesecake. But I was so full. I was like, if there was like some kind of chocolate cake, I probably would have gone for it. Yeah. But cheesecake, I wouldn't go for. I was surprised to see on the menu the Hawaiian pizza. Oh, was that? Yeah, I was oh. like, but then why again, is it that's there? But, but then I was like, I know, I don't know. We're in England and you need to adapt a little and yeah. get what English people do. But the thing is, I bet they hate it. I bet they hate me. Yeah, it. they're probably yeah. like, like moaning at the people <laughs> who have chosen to get it. <laughs> Especially because literally 99% of the people in there that work in there, they're all Italians from either Calabria or Sicily. There's only two people, one is from Hungary and the other one is English. <laughs> they're, they're not Italian, but that's yeah. it. So they're all Italian, so they must be in pain every time that yeah. someone orders that. Seriously. So our vote for this Restaurant is definitely a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 of everything. Millions of 10. It was so good. The the people that served us were amazing, and the the lady even recognised you, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, the lady did recognise me. <laughs> yeah, she was all the time. She was like, no, she's never gonna recognise me. I, I don't think she will recognise me. No one's gonna remember me. And as soon as you look at her, oh hi! I was like, see, I told you so. So it was really good. Loved it. Everything. The food. The the layout. The, especially the weather was amazing, but you can't do anything about that. You can probably go in yeah. rainy days, but it'll probably be nice too. Yeah, but it'll still be nice. Yeah, true. Um, so if you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up. Um, comment down below what you think about this restaurant. If I like the video, do you think it looks authentic? You will leave the place where it is so that you can actually try it as well and try the real Italian food if you're missing it. We'll see you. So we'll see you in the next time. video. Bye guys. Bye.